Hello, my name is Tinu from Victoria Designs and I wanted to make a quick video how I use my mini project templates because we have made mini projects, we have given some away for free on our YouTube channel, we're still doing that and I'm also selling some of the templates so you can use your own paper, physical or digital to make these projects and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to do this now of course you can always print these uh, templates like, like this one straight onto your paper provided that it's not too heavy for your printer and you can print it on the back or you can print it on the front but then you will see the uh, folding lines etc how I would personally like to use them is how I am going to show you I want to demonstrate this by making the waterfall pocket booklet with a kit that we're launching today, the flower farm kit. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description where you can find it. But the whole idea is that you can use these templates with any paper that you have. The first thing I did was I printed all the pieces that I needed for this project. And of course, I only cut out the pocket ones, even though I need six. One's enough as a template to use over and over again. I also wrote the name of the project on there and uh, in the circle is what the part is. Okay, so I cut these out. I written everything on there and I have some of my papers ready to go. Of course, you can always use pieces from the journal pages as well, if you like, like the side pocket, if you want to use this piece, etc, etc. Usually each large joint journal kit that we have has journal pages, papers and also embellishments. And if there, is embe there are embellishments, you can use these later to um, decorate your whole project afterwards. But I'm going to focus on the papers for now. For this particular piece, no, some of the pieces you're not you're hardly going to see and this first piece is one of them so i chose not to use an actual uh big paper for this you can use uh more of a neutral paper or in my case i'm just going to keep it uh, simple i'm gonna use a piece of craft cardstock you can also use uh, cardstock in any color that you like uh, but this is what i had right here and also this is from this project the only piece that needed to be printed on uh both the outside and the inside. So I am going to use this instead. Okay, now what am I going to do? Next is, this is my base. I'm going to line this up so that my edges really line up here. And I'm going to use a sharp pencil to make marks. There, there. There. Now, actually, you can use it like this as well. But if you want to be sure that you're straight, you can also use rulers instead, of course. Oh, yes, these pieces should be cut out as neatly as you can. Of course, you're all human, etc., etc. But if you're going to use these over and over again, it's best to have these um, cut out as good as you can. Okay. So. I traced this and now I'm going to cut this out. Now, since this is, see, that's the downside from tracing, but I know that this is a straight line, that's a straight line. So I'm just going to put this under my paper uh, trimmer. There, that's the piece, it has the same size. And now I'm just going to put this a little bit lower and now I can make some marks for score lines. Again, be as precise as you can, just then the thing will work better, you know. Um, since I'm going to use a scoring board, I only need to uh, make marks on the top. If you're going to score with a ruler, etc., of course, also slip this up and make marks here as well. So. And now I know where to score. There. Of course, I'm now demonstrating with this specific template, but the system is the same for all the other templates as well. Just check out in the videos which part are going to um, hidden most, and you can use colored cardstock for that or of course you can use uh, other papers as well uh, that's your choice but I think it's more economical to do it like that 
so you can use color cardstock for those and for the decorative panels etc you can use um, the decorative papers so i'm gonna put this to the side and the next thing i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take my papers and i'm actually just going to see which um images that i want to wear now i would just start with the things that are the most obvious and on this piece will come three panels and these are going to be the outside the cover of this booklet so i think these should be the best so i'm probably going to take this part and this part for that and you can actually just take the um the template and and go over your papers and see hey which part do i want which is going to work this part this part this part or um if you like these so you can really see what you want what you're then going to do well i'm gonna demonstrate with this actually so again uh, i think i'm gonna use this one for uh, the side panel so one here one here i'm gonna flip it over and again line up as good as you can and again you can make little marks and just put it under your um, paper trimmer or just trace it or use, use a ruler. Well, you choose whatever you want to do. I'm just tracing now so I can show you guys what I want to um, Well, this way I can just show you better. So I'm going to use these two parts for two panels. Um, well, actually, you're going to do that for all the pieces. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. I'm just going to choose all my pieces and trace them and cut them out and I'm gonna come back to you. So I traced all the elements on the parts of the papers that I wanted. I cut them out, I folded the lines, I already inked, etc. And now that I have all my elements, I'm just going to assemble this project according to the tutorial. And it's finished. This is the result. Actually, I made two. So I used craft cardstock for this as the base. I used the light blue cardstock for this as the base, but I also still used the vintage photo um, ink for the distressing. And that gave it a bit of a, this, this, this dirty, um, but lighter look. And I, I think they both work. And I think if I made this with the light blue cardstock and the bluish ink, for the distressing, it would already give another look. So I just want to show you how you can play with uh, different kinds of cardstock as uh, for the base pieces to totally get a different result because the uh, panels are the same. The other thing that's different is the colors of the cord that I used. And also for these, I didn't cut any uh, closure circles, but I used these uh, white brads. So these are brads that are already um, this white. So let me show you. this opens up and this way the um, background is more light looks like this and here's the one that i made with the craft card stock background just to show you so this one looks like this of course yeah so I hope this quick little video helps you in a way how to use the um, mini project templates that you can buy in our shop. I'll put a link to them below as well. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.